Hi, it's Linda and I'm back. Now I'm going to show you um, x-ray interpretation and hopefully you will have learned something from your um, previous lessons on the body and we're going to see uh, how much you remember. So the first thing is this is a view box and these are x-rays. So I need to teach you some basic interpretation. So what I did here is I put some coins on there and I put a paper clip and I put a safety pin and your body has in it an organ that is filled with air and do you remember that what that was that was your lung um, but your organ has solid things in it that I just showed you and those are bones um, so when you think about a paper clip and you think about coins and you think about a safety pin are they made of air? Are they made of water? Which remember, you're mostly made up of water. Or are they made of something solid? They're made of something solid. Therefore, anything that's solid comes out white on an x-ray. There's air between those solid things, which means anything that's air-filled will be black. And this is a water balloon, because I needed you to see what water would look like on x-ray. And that dark circle Inside the water balloon, darkness means air. So we begin the lesson by saying anything solid will be white. Anything air-filled will be black. And anything that is water is this grayish color. And the black in the inside is air within that space. So if you have that down, we'll begin. So this is kind of an easy one. What do you think? this is. So you can see this is your hand. And remember, we have about 206 bones in the body, and you have over 25 in your hand alone. So this is the normal hand, and now I'm going to show you this. Now besides two hands, what do you notice? You notice that metal comes out much whiter than bone, and that's important. So if we left a piece of metal in you after surgery, that would show up as a brighter white spot <clears throat> than normal bone. So we have two hands here, and we have lots of jewelry, okay? Now, what well, part of the body is this? So this is the skull. And you can see it looks like the teeth look like bone, but they're not really bone. So teeth are made of enamel, and it looks like bone, but it's not. So this is one skull. This is a different skull. So besides it being a side view of the skull, what do you notice? Do you notice the teeth look different? Can you see again, normal teeth? And you see the teeth over there. Why would the teeth look so white? I'll pull back this x-ray, see if you can think about it. Do you see the metal on the x-ray because this person had gold teeth. So you can see that the metal is showing up as much whiter. You can also make out that she has earrings on and you can make out that there is also a necklace on this person. So again, a skull view, earrings, teeth much whiter so we know they're made of metal and a necklace. Okay. What part of the body is this? So remember when I showed you the arm bones? And remember when I described them as being twisted? Can you see that? So you can see the twist of the arm bones. Okay? Now, what's going on? Here's another image of that. Oh, give me a second. Here's another image of the arm. So here's the hand again. And you can see that this is the radius, remember? And this is the ulna. And remember I said they're twisted. Do you see that? So that's the arm. What happened to this kid now? You see that we have broken the bone completely here. Can you see that? 
a break here, and that break is what they call a telescoping fracture. That bone shoved into the other bone, and again, a break over here. So this person would have to go to surgery to have that fracture fixed. So an orthopedic surgeon would come in, and this is what it looks like after surgery. Some breaks can't be just casted. You have to align the broken parts. So you can see that there's a bar put in and there's screws put in. And what would these things be? What are those little squares? Those are staples. So that's the new form of stitching is a special surgical stapler that puts the wound together. So again, this is how that arm fracture was repaired. How about this bone? What bone was that? Remember, that's your pelvis. And remember how I said your hip bones fit right into there. And remember, we called it a ball and socket joint. So this is the largest bone in your body, the femur. This is the ball and socket joint, and that's your pelvis. Okay? Now, this is really hard. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. So this is really hard to try to make out. I'll give you a second and then I'll show you. This is the frontal sinus right here. So it's a side view and you can see the nose. You can just make out the nose. And there's a tiny bone. This is the only bone that's left in your nose. This is cartilage all here, but this is bone. And there is a very tiny crack right there in the bone. So that's a nose fracture. So now, what part of the body is this? We went over it. So we have the foot, and do you remember I said to you that bigger bone comes down and grabs the ankle on the side? And then the other bone comes down, the outer bone, the weaker one, if you will, the fibula, grabs it on the other side. So this is, again, what it looks like. So remember, the inner ankle is the big bone, comes down and grabs that ankle. The outer ankle comes down, and they are what keep your ankle in place. They lock your ankle. So now, if that's normal, tell me, do you see anything in this x-ray? So you notice how that Elephant's nose, remember I described it as an elephant's nose, is supposed to be right up against that bone. And instead, there's a space that I could put my finger in through. So this force pushed the ankle over, and then we have little breaks on the bone, on the outside bone, remember the fibula that was the weaker bone. So then this is the same kid, all fixed up. So remember, now you can see the bar in there and you can make out one, two, three, four screws inside that bone to hold it in place. And then you can make out the metal on the outside and those are staples. And some fractures, some breaks, need to have something extra, an extra almost vice grip to hold it in place. It's not left on there long, so this is called external traction, to make sure that everything is set perfectly. Okay, next, what do we have? Huh, what do we have here? So we can see the spine, and remember I said it's not one bone, but a bunch of little bones. A bone, a pillow, a bone, a pillow, a bone, a pillow, a bone, a pillow. They call those pillows discs. And see the ribs, can you make out the ribs? This is the 11th and the 12th rib. Now I want you to try to follow my finger. I'm going to trace something. Here is an organ. You can see it's around the 11th and 12th rib. Any idea what organ is in the back around the 11th and 12th rib? It's the kidney. This is a plastic model of the kidney. And the kidney is really red when you see the kidney. And the reason is the kidney is drop cleaning every drop of blood in your body. 
Every drop of blood is going to your kidney six times every hour. It's constantly being cleaned. So your kidneys are really, really important because they're what's making sure bad stuff is gotten rid of, good stuff is reabsorbed that we need. So the kidneys are really important. They sit way, way in the back around the 11th and 12th rib. This is a real kidney. And we took all the blood out of it and removed all the fat. But the, you could see what the size of the real kidney looks like once we remove the fat protection that's around the kidney. So this is your spine. This is your pelvis. This is your 11th and 12th rib, and here is the shadow of your kidney. Now, if I really wanted to see your kidney well, I could do something. We could bring you in for a procedure, and I could put a special dye in your bloodstream, because didn't I say every drop of blood goes to your kidney six times every hour? And I could wait one hour. Now, in one hour, that dye that I put in your bloodstream would have gone to your kidneys to be cleaned. And your kidneys don't need the dye, so they get rid of the dye. And now you can see the kidneys actually light up. See the kidneys now? Much better picture of the kidneys. And you can see that there's some white coming down, and then it goes away. And then it opens back up again. So this, way down here, is your bladder. Most people think your bladder is up here near your belly button. It's not. Look how low down it is. So you can see it completely lit up. And how come it's not white all the way down? Because this is a muscle that's squeezing to push the dye down. Now look on this side. You can see the kidney, but now we can't see any connection over to the other side. There's absolutely no connection. So this was a person that had a kidney stone. So we couldn't get any of the dye out through that side. So also, do you notice over here, what are those things? Isn't that the same kind of color that the jewelry was? So these were met little metal clips that were left in place when the person had surgery previously, okay? Now, I didn't talk about this at all. This, it, these are your intestines. You have 21 feet of bowel, 21 feet of bowel at a minimum below your diaphragm, which remember was that muscle that was important to breathe, and above the symphysis pubis, that bone right in the middle. 21 feet of bowel in here, and it looks like snakes. Do you see? So this is your intestine. Now, what are these? Any idea what that is? ribs, but that's not a real x-ray. Can't be a real x-ray. What did I tell you the ribs protect? Didn't I tell you they protect the heart, the lungs, the liver, the stomach? Where are they? So this is a fake x-ray. This is a real x-ray. So when you look at a real x-ray, you can see a couple things. This was the most frequently broken bone. What did I say it was? the clavicle or the collarbone. Remember, it's white, it's solid. Do you remember, black means air filled. Look how you see air one inch above the inner one third of the clavicle, because this is where lung is. So your lungs rise one inch above the inner one third, and they come on down, and I always look in the corner to make sure I see the blackness in the corner. Come on in to see the blackness in the corner. So these are, this is your right lung, this is your left lung, and this is your heart. So this is your aorta, the arch of your aorta coming down, and this is your heart sitting right here. See the black coming down here? Why is there black coming down there? Because when we ask you to take an x-ray, we say take a deep breath. And you can see the black air going down and being captured by this x-ray in the person's trachea. So, person's inhaling, the lungs are completely expanded, and there's the heart that sits right there on the left side. So that's one heart. Now, what do we have here? So now we have a person 
Again, we look, different x-rays, different size lungs. Again, the lungs rise one inch above the inner one third of the clavicle. We look in the corner, we see it coming down. We look in the corner, we see it coming down. Do you see that black spot right there? Black means air. What organ is right there? That's your stomach. So that, friends, is a burp. So you can see what a burp looks like on x-ray. This is your liver, largest organ inside the body. So there's the liver, here's the stomach. Darkness inside means air. So air inside the stomach is a burp. Then we have another x-ray. But now, what do you see right away? So can you see how this person is breathing with far less lung than the other side? Look how we're pinched down over here to this corner. Nothing here. So this person's lung was filled with fluid. So you can see that the fluid looked like the water balloon, doesn't it? So the marking goes away. The blackness goes away. Can you also make out wires here? Can you make out that wires? So this is a person that had open heart surgery. So you can see that the wires were done. So the person's taking a breath in. You can see the blackness coming down, but it's curved over a little bit. We don't like to see that. We like to see that coming straight down. Okay? So that's the lung. This one now is a little bit different. Again, this is a younger person, a thinner person. We see the ribs. We see the lungs rise one inch above, the blackness above. We go down to the corner. This is the liver. Here's the stomach. Can we see air inside the stomach? The little black burps. But now I want you to notice how, do you see if I cover my hand, doesn't that look just like the fake x-ray over here? It does, because there's no lung tissue there. That lung collapsed. Can you make out now the shadow of the lung. So that was a collapsed lung. And that's easily treated when you come into the hospital. And then this is another picture of the person that had fluid on the lung, looking like the water balloon. And again, you can see all the wires that were used to then rewire the lungs back together again, the lungs, the sternum back together again. And then, this is what an MRI looks like. Just to show you how pretty it is. So you can see, we'll pick this one first. What part of the body is that? The skull, and you can see what the eyeballs look like. This is your brain. And remember I said, only one inch protects your brain from hair to brain, and this shows how thin the skull really is. So again, really important that you wear a helmet. This is your spinal cord. And you can see, this is the exact same image, but they're able to change it so that in this picture, I can pay attention to the spinal cord. And in this picture, I can pay attention to the bones itself. So again, look here, bone, pillow, bone, pillow. These are your discs. And this is the biggest nerve coming out, going down through the spinal cord. These are your hip bones on either side, a bone on top, a bone on the bottom, and a bone on front. There's only one bone that would do that. A bone on top, a bone on the bottom, and a bone in front. So this is a picture of your knee joint. This is your heel, and then this is the most frequently dislocated bone in the body. Do you remember from the skeletal what that would be? And that's your shoulder joint. So that, are, that is your, your little quiz on if you learn something today, um, you'd be able to interpret the x-rays okay. All right. So I hope you learned something today. And um, mostly, I guess I'd like you to come away that the human body is incredibly complex and sophisticated, but also simplistic in its design.